Hey everybody, welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast for Monday, July 22nd, I think, 2019. Now I'll tell you why this podcast sounds a little bit different uh, this week. I don't know what kind of quality it's going to come out in, but I am teaching a two-week long jazz camp at the University of New Hampshire and barely have any time off whatsoever these two weeks, so... I'm actually sitting in an empty classroom at the University of New Hampshire recording this Motivation Monday for you uh, just to try to get something out even though things are very busy. I did not want to skip one of these. So we're coming at you today to talk about something very, very specific. And this is in response to a comment we got in our YouTube channel on one of our other Motivation Monday episodes, the episode on application. And this comment is from Juan, and he says, Thank you. Can you give tips for us amateurs that work all day? And when we get home, there's no time to practice. I've been trying to practice during lunchtime, but I can only practice like 30 minutes. A bit uncomfortable because it's in the car. Man. So I think this is a problem that a lot of us face. Uh, A lot of you out there that are just kind of doing this in your spare time and You know, you have a job and a lot of other obligations in your life, and you can't find enough time, or as much time as you want, I should say. Um, And I think that's kind of a common thing. You know, we've talked about this in the past, but I love how specific that question is. I only have about 30 minutes each day to practice, and I'm not sure what to do. So I wanted to kind of answer that question and give you a tip and give you a direction. So one of the problems with jazz or any topic as big as jazz or music, is that every day when we sit down to practice, we literally have like a million things that we can work on. So it makes it really hard. It makes it really hard to narrow things down. And, you know, if you have a short period of time, especially like, what's the one most important thing that I can work on that's going to make me better in a short period of time? So I think my answer to this is, and to tell you the truth, I'm facing that these two weeks as well, because basically I'm just teaching all day. I've got a short little break for lunch and then got like a little 45 minute block uh, in the afternoon to get on my instrument and practice. So, you know, less than what I'm used to in my normal schedule where I, I try to build my schedule so I have a ton of time to practice. So... My suggestion for you is to base your practice time off of a tune. So at the beginning of the week, come up with a tune that you'd like to get better at and base your short practice sessions off of that tune. So it could be just playing that tune over and over and over again, really learning to deal with the chords in it, whatever key it's in, uh, the different unique progressions that this tune presents and what it does is it really focuses your practice routine around something so instead of trying to do like 10 minutes on this 10 minutes on that 10 minutes on another thing you're spending the entire 30 minutes on one thing and that is going to be a very valuable thing for you which is working on actual repertoire something that you're actually going to be playing at a gig or a jam session or getting together with friends. And it really has a way of bringing it all in, making you focus on one thing over a million things, and you really can get a lot out of really short practice sessions. And it's not like you would do a different tune every week, or every day, I'm sorry. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to pick one tune and let's say you spend a week on it. So let's say you've got 30 minutes a day, six days a week, and you're going to concentrate on one tune. You're going to end up practicing that tune for about three hours that week, which is amazing. Spending three hours on one tune day after day after day, that can really improve your playing a lot. And then like I always say, Whatever you work on on one tune is definitely going to transfer over to other tunes. But I do think that this is just a great way of like sort of shutting everything else out. It, uh, it calms the mind down a little bit and prevents you from worrying too much about things I should be doing 
rather than actually get something done. Sometimes we get paralyzed by that. We think about all the things that we should be doing and that doesn't actually allow us to do anything. So by doing this, you kind of block everything else out and you do some pretty serious, important work over one tune. And I think that can be really helpful for you. So thanks again to Juan for the question. Really appreciate that. And I really love getting questions like this because it allows me to do uh, these Motivation Monday episodes on things that I know you're going to be interested in. And again, I apologize for the poor quality, but I'm just kind of doing the best I can in the situation that I'm in and uh, trying to still put out some content for you guys. So let me know what you think. Uh, you know, leave a comment on this video on YouTube or drop a comment or a question in the 10 Minute Jazz Lesson Community Facebook group and I'll definitely get back to you. All right, everybody, have a great week. We will be coming at you with a regular uh, Friday episode. I recorded it a little while ago before the camp started. So that's still going to be coming out. And um, have a great week. Get a little bit of time in every day. Focus it around one piece of repertoire, and you will definitely improve a whole lot. All right, we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye.